everybody. Uh, my name is Andrea Campanella from the Open Networking Foundation and today I will talk about uh, uh, the demo that we did at Tip Summit 2019 showcasing the ONOS and GMPY integration. The demo is done in collaboration between us, the Open Networking Foundation, the Telecom Info Project and the Chesnet uh, National Research and Educational Network of the Czech Republic uh, with uh, a set of vendors and supply chain partners uh, comprised of Edgecore, Lumentum, uh, Checklight, uh, um, IP Infusion, Nokia and Sterlight. Um, the idea is uh, that we're going to use the ODTN project that brings SDN and disaggregation in the optical network to save CAPEX and OPEX in the data center interconnect deployments, allowing rapid production adoption of innovations in terminal equipment, uh, enabling the vendors to innovate in speed, reach, quality of service and transmission, and uh, letting the operators reap the benefits by bookending the transponders and achieving a better life cycle approach for each component in the network, optimizing the equipment lifespan. But, and also through the use of SDN and disaggregation and open APIs, future proof their network, avoiding vendor lock in. In this demo, we're going to use GMPY, uh, which is an optical planning and simulation tool uh, that is uh, hosted by the Telecom Infra project and uh, that includes um, optical um, devices and uh, optical impairments. Uh, um, information in no, and uh, models the, the optical network uh, in order to give um, the user the capability to understanding its uh, needs and its uh, requirements and the, um, what are the, the best possible end-to-end um, -end, uh, paths according to the OSNR margin, the uh, optical impairments that are taken into account along the network such as uh, fiber span, fiber losses, amplifiers, uh, um, and the, the, the different terminal devices and uh, power at each stage and elements like this. It's based on a near a non-linear engine and uh, uh, it's been integrated with uh, uh, ONOS. And the idea is that the integration between uh, ONOS and GMPY um, allows um, an optical path com optimal path computation in the optical network and uh, optical network optimization according to the various optical impairments that, GMP that GMPY can take into account. Um, in the demo, ONUS leverages GMPY to obtain uh, the best path from A to B according to the GSNR level that is computed by GMPY for each of those possible paths according from A to B. ONUS requests uh, the, mm, uh, every possible path from A to B to GMPY. GMPY gives back all these possible paths and ONUS picks the best one according to the GSNR, meaning the highest GSNR value. Uh, GMPY is not only then now used as an optical planning and design tool in an offline mode, but is taken online in order to optimize the network uh, as a path computation element on top of the ONOS SDN controller. Um, by using GMPY there is uh, an avoided duplication of effort because ONOS does not need to implement and take into account all the optical impairments that uh, GMPY already does uh, know about and thus use GMPY an external path computation element reducing the need for more code and uh, duplicated effort. Uh, this is what the topology uh, and the uh, software deployment looks like. Uh, there is ONOS deployed or with the ODTN applications to take into account the optical elements that communicates with the rest uh, to GMPY that is deployed as a Docker container and then controls a network comprised of uh, uh, two Cassini uh, devices. Uh, at the, the, the two ends of the line. These are two uh, transponders with the Lumentum ACO uh, pluggable transceiver 200G uh, cards with IP Infusion Ocno software that expose the OpenConfig uh, API towards uh, ONOS. In the middle between these two transponders there is a set of uh, check light uh, um, Rodum uh, devices controlled by an open model, uh, Yang model over uh, Netcom. Here you can see the rack that we used for the optical uh, demonstration at Tip Summit. Uh, on the top there are the two Cassinis that are at the too far end of the line connected with 240G uh, cables to the uh, uppermost bottom uh, server which simulates the two data centers. 
uh, those two uh, Cassini devices uh, on the left you can see that they are connected uh, with two uh, fiber cables uh, uh, from the uh, ACO uh, Lumentum transceivers to the first uh, add drop uh, stage on the top and the last add drop stage on the bottom. Uh, those white devices are the check light uh, Rodum uh, devices uh, comprised of different add drop and line uh, stages uh, connected uh, between them uh, with uh, optical fiber. We did not have a very long span of fiber because it was just a demo simulated uh, as if it was in uh, the lab. Here you can see the Onos topology comprised of two different paths from the two transceivers, uh, one on the top and one on the bottom. Um, the two uh, transceiver or two edge core uh, Cassini devices uh, with uh, Ocnos uh, software and Momentum ACO cards, while the line is comprised of check light uh, different stages of devices, add drop and uh, line uh, objects. Mm. And it's uh, symmetrical on the two uh, sides where the add-drop stages are connected to the Cassinis. There is at the moment no configuration in place in any of these devices. And you can see in fact that the traffic is not flowing between uh, the two uh, data centers that we simulated in the VMs. And that there is no power configured in the in or out ports of the Rotom and uh, in nor the line nor the add-drop stage. Now what's going to happen is that we were going to request that through uh, the Onos CLI a uh, end-to-end bidirectional connectivity between the two uh, Cassini endpoints. What this is going uh, to do is that it's going to go and ask GMPY to set up that connectivity um, and uh, um, it will give back to Onos the possible paths and Onos will pick the one with the best uh, GSNR uh, available in the network, meaning the highest one. This we've done the request and now you can immediately see that all the add drop stages and the line degrees have now tuned the power on the uh, devices. And uh, in some time you can see that the traffic is now flowing between the two uh, endpoints. Uh, this shows the fact that we have actually set up an end-to-end -end optical path. You can see now that there is configuration. So the path that we picked is the one that goes from Cassini 1, uh, 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 the, the top path we picked. And that path had a GSNR of 23.47. If we can now go and see the optical UI, uh, we can see the fact that we've configured a 1.1.96 uh, wavelength on a QPSK modulation with 1.17 uh, output power and 5.60 input power. In the add drop stage, we can also see uh, some uh, data. Uh, in particular, we can see that it's receiving at uh, uh, 0.73 and outputting at minus 6.55. If we take a look at the uh, line uh, side of uh, um, the Rodum, we can also see that uh, we there is some uh, power uh, configuration uh, in there, and in particular, we can see that uh, there is it's receiving at uh, minus 435 and outputting at minus 12.02 now if we take a look on the other side at the add drop stage we can also see here uh, the different uh, levels of uh, power and we can also uh, see that this power is the one that is configured by uh, GMPY to achieve the best uh, optical uh, path uh, utilization. It's uh, outputting at minus uh, 1086 and uh, receiving at minus 13.45 uh, from the uh, uh, other line while going to the add drop is receiving uh, at uh, minus 3.31 and outputting at minus 5.01. Here you can see just a, a brief overview of the check light open line system. Uh, it's uh, up to 8 degree uh, uh, 
Rodums with multiple add drop uh, option has an open design with a one new box per module. It's SDN net config uh, enabled, meaning that uh, Onos was capable of controlling it via netconf interface over the public Yang model. It's available through multiple vendors and uh, you can find more information on the Checklight uh, website. Uh, so the next steps for the demo is to have an active feedback of the topology from Onos to GMPY. At the moment, the topology is pre-provisioned to Onos and to GMPY at separate stages, while we envision a feedback loop from Onos to GMPY about the topology too. Uh, have a more interactive path choice between Onus and uh, uh, GMPY, meaning that uh, currently at the moment Onus picks simply the best path according to the highest GSNR level, but instead we could have a more interactive uh, control over the, uh, the decision of the path according to operator margins, according to the path uh, links themselves, have a better UI integration. At the moment this is done through a command line interface. We would like to have it uh, through UI and also have topology and service standardization of the Yang models uh, for the communication between GMPY and ONUS according to ITF or TAPI uh, yeah, common Yang models. Uh, for a few useful links, you can find the ODTN wiki here, the GMPI code, and uh, the Checklight open line system um, website. If you have any questions, please uh, send them over to me or to Jan uh, Kundrat from uh, Cesnet and the Telecom Info Project for the Checklight Rodums and the GMPY uh, tool. Uh, I want to thank everybody uh, in the UDTN uh, community for participating in uh, the project and uh, also a thank you to you uh, who have been listening this demo. Um, if you have any questions, please drop us an email. Uh, looking forward to see you next time.